Hello students, you are watching our channel The Educational Hub. Today we are going to study the cell cycle. At the end of this video, we will have a short quiz for you so that you can test yourself how much have you learned from today's lecture so let's start our today's lecture first of all what is cell cycle cell cycle is an ordered series of events involved in cell growth and cell division that produces two new daughter cells and this is called cell cycle basically cell cycle has two major phases the first one is interphase and the second is mitotic phase interphase interphase is non dividing phase in this phase the interphase lasts for at least 90% of the total time required for cell division interphase has main three sub stages the first stage of interphase is g1 phase g1 phase is the first stage of interphase in this phase dna bases are accumulated the RNA is synthesized in G1 phase. Number of cell organelles increased or duplicated for maximum energy reserves. The second phase or a sub-stage of interphase is S phase. S phase in S phase DNA is synthesized that is DNA replication occurs. Each chromosome is duplicated or we can say that each chromosome is doubled. Centrosomes which are usually absent in plant cell will also be duplicated during the S phase in animal cell. The next sub stage of interphase is G2 phase. In G2 phase energy is stored for the movement of chromosomes protein are synthesized which are needed for cell division microtubule subunits are also synthesized so that was the interface now we are moving towards the second major phase of the cell cycle that is known as mitotic phase Mitotic phase contain two portions. The first one is karyokinesis, which is the basically the division of nucleus, and the second phase or second stage of mitotic phase is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis is basically the division of cytoplasm. Mitosis or karyokinesis. Mitosis is asexual reproduction because there is no fusion of male or female gametes. Mitosis is a cell division by which only somatic cells duplicate. All the cells of a body other than sex cells or germ cells are known as somatic cells. Mitosis is a division in which a cell divides into two cells but the important thing is that the number and the properties of chromosome remain same in mitosis mitosis or which is also known as karyokinesis division of nucleus occurs mainly in four different phases the first phase is known as prophase 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 is the longest phase. In this phase, the nuclear envelope or the nuclear envelope or you can say nuclear membrane starts to dissociate. Membrane bound organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, mitochondria and nucleolus will 
disappear. Centrosomes begin to move to the opposite poles of the cell to form microtubules. Chromatin material condenses or you can say the chromosome become condensed and visible under light microscope. So that was the prophase. The last is thing which is done in prophase is that the spindle fiber attach from centrioles to the centromere by kinetochores. Kinetochores is a type of protein. The second phase is prometaphase which is just before a metaphase. In this phase basically it is known as the first change phase. A spindle fibers continues to develop from centrosomes. Chromosome become more condensed. Each sister chromatid develop a protein structure which is known as kinetochore which you can see in the slide on the right side in the centromeric region. Now moving towards the second main phase of mitotic phase that is metaphase. This is known as a change phase. It is the shortest stage of mitosis. In this stage chromatids arrange themselves at equatorial plane. At this time the chromosomes are maximally condensed and chromatids are just ready for separation. The next stage is anaphase which is the third most important stage in the mitosis. This phase is known as upward phase because in this phase each chromatid separate at the centromere or from the center and move towards respective centrosome. After separation each chromatid now called as chromosome. Cell begins to elongate or cell became oval shape. The fourth and the last stage of mitosis is telophase. In this phase, this phase is usually known as distance phase. In this phase, chromosomes reach the opposite poles and become or begin to decondense. Nuclear membrane and nucleolus which was disappear in prophase will now start appearing again. Spindle fibers disappear. In the end, two genetically identical nuclei are present and here the karyokinesis or you can say mitosis is completed. So that is an easy lecture of mitosis. Now moving towards the second main phase of mitosis or mitotic phase is cytokinesis cytokinesis cytoplasmic division if we take an example of plant cell in plant cell a cell plate appears in the cytoplasm at the equatorial position and divide the mother cell into two daughter cells but in animal cell a constriction and a cleavage furrow appear at the equatorial position dividing the mother cell into two daughter cells. So that was our today's lecture that was cell cycle and at the end there is a quiz for all the viewers and all the students who have watched the video completely. So stop the video and think of the answers of the following MCQs. I hope you have mentioned or marked the answers. Now you can see your answers. These are the answers of the MCQs. So that is our today's lecture.
thank you all the students and viewers for watching the video